All right, let's take a look at what's been going on with the shed. So, um, <clears throat> obviously, I uh, today I excavated some more just to kind of kind of more um, offset the grade so it slopes more um, towards the area that I wanted to drain. And then I went and picked up some uh, some pipe, uh, some flex drain. Flex drains, um, some connectors and, and couplers. Uh, picked up three of these drains. Three of these grades. So this is the this is the area where the water mostly pulls up. So I picked up one of those. Um, I'm still not sure about this connection right here. It's kind of loose. It's supposed to be compression fitted, but it's kind of loose. Obviously, once it gets put in place, it's not going to go anywhere. So shouldn't really be a concern, but I was hoping that it would fit a little bit more snug like these other connection pieces. Um, I have an extra one, so I'm going to return that um, because I won't be needing it. Um, so we'll end up returning that. Um, like I said, I dug some more and uh, got it going. I uh, put an additional one right here, so I'm going to have this um, secondary door right here. The primary door to the shed is going to be right here, over here. And then, um, I mean, you can see the cutout. So that's the width of that secondary door. And then you got this little cutout right here that's going to come right here, come onto the pavement. And I figure this is where I'm going to put the, the downspout drain off the shed. So, I mean, I have the downspout already, but this is just a mock-up of the angle and making sure I have all the fit-ins and everything. So that's, it should work out. I should be able to manipulate the, the flex pipe if I need to uh, make it work, you know, put adapters or whatever. Um, but it's just a mock-up dry fit. Like I said, I put another um, drain there just so if that doesn't catch all of it, it catches down here. Um, I'm just being extra um, cautious about how much water is gonna puddle around here. Like I said, it puddled right here. So um, I kind of want to get rid of that. Obviously, once I level this thing back out, I'm just going to have to catch a new grade because um, this three inch pipe is going to take up a lot of um, space where that dirt would have otherwise been. So some of this dirt is going to get put in the back. Um, ran it all the way out and then I bought a second there, a third one, and I'm going to put it down here. So this one is just going to be under the shed. Um, so this one is not going to be visible um, or accessible. It's just going to be under the shed. Um, this one will be accessible, and obviously that one will be accessible. Um, but just just in case there's a runoff from right here under the shed, it's going to catch it. Um, shouldn't really be a big deal. And then I continue to excavate beneath the gate. I didn't have to cut a hole into the the wall. And then I got out here. Um, you can see where it came out. This was relatively had a dip. So, I mean, you can see it. It has like a little dip um, where the water was actually draining. So what I want to do is um, I just started scratching like slightly. I didn't really have, I didn't really do that whole um, 808 dig, I believe I call it, or 811. But as you can see, I do have a lot of utilities right here, gas, electric. So I wasn't going crazy with the pick. Um, I was just scratching and then now I'm just gonna have to figure out a way use a couple of connectors a T to tie into this um, I'm gonna scratch it out some more just make it more accessible to maneuver I think I'm at the base of it where it's starting to bend um, I see a tree root there so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just use some um, excavating some using these little hand tools um, so nothing too serious just small scratching See that I have gas right here, um, and uh, get the stuff all tied in, um, and it should have enough grade for it to run all the way through. Um, and then I'll put a dirt back here. Typically, we only use right here for you know taking out the trash, but I'm gonna get some gravel just to put it back over it. You know, get rid of the dirt, so we're not tracking dirt anywhere. And then eventually, I'm gonna put. Um, a walkway right here with um, paving stone or paving rocks or what do you call those things. I'm just gonna build like a walkway that leads to the side of the garage um, and just kind of 
it's going to be over this thing. Um, but we're just going to make sure. But that's down the road. That's not critical. We'll get that buttoned up. Um, hopefully by tomorrow. Um, but what I wanted to see was how my uh, my drainage situation was. So I'm not a pro, but if it rains, it floods. And that's what we're trying to figure out. So I'm just gonna... supposed to catch. There we go. So imagine it's filling up water and at some point it should start flowing out. Let's see. Uh, don't have any water here yet. So there's bound to be some amount of settling because this thing is not flush with the bottom. It's slightly off the ground. So I can see, I can see some leakage going on. Um, some leakage is definitely going on. And still no water. I think most of it is leaking out. Um, which, uh, this thing is obviously not a really tight fit and I kind of snugged it slightly. So, I kind of snugged it slightly. I didn't really make it uh, super um, tight, but I don't think there's a way to make it any tighter. And then clearly once it's filled in with the dirt, that's gonna form like a barrier around it, but Ideally, I don't want it to seep from it. I want it to flood the system. And we do have some, some water here. So it's gonna take a lot of water. Like I said, I mean, you can see it, the water has to settle in here before it's gonna start flowing. So there's bound to be some amount of settling. Uh, there it is. So you see water is seeping out of these connections but if all goes well and this grid is on here and it's catching water um, it should fill up either seep out or whatever um, and continue if it's such that it's full it's just gonna keep flowing like you see right there um, let's see we're not gonna be able to see anything in the gutter right here But we should be able to see if it's seeping out at the connections. And it looks like it's starting to seep out right here. Uh, so let's go down, see how much water. <sighs> Obviously, it would take a lot of water to, to um, fill up this drain. Um, probably not enough for that hose to to do justice as much as it's seeping out. But I mean, I'm happy that it's actually flowing so far. Yeah, it's flowing, but it's seeping out. I'd say about half of the water that's in there, half of it is actually seeping out. So uh, again, this type of piping, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be like bulletproof. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be like bulletproof, um, but it's a little bit. All that water, I wanted to contain it as much as possible. Um, and that's why I'm trying to do this little trick to see how much water it would actually contain. Um, maybe it's just because I'm using that thing. Mm, let's see. Yeah, still bone dry down here. Um, really, I'm just testing the 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 grate and see how much. Let's see. We're gonna turn this off real quick. Mm. 
we're gonna turn this off and then we're gonna go unscrew that that thing Let's see if I can if I can add more water to this setup. This should help allow more water to flow. Um, so let's go turn that bad boy back on. And uh, we'll see. Again, I'm not a professional, but I want it to work as if it's a professional setup. All right, we're flowing. All right, we're flowing. So it's flowing heavier. Hot water's flowing. And let's see. How much water does it take to get down here? I see some water. There you go. It's about to tip over. There we go. So it's working. I think I think what's gonna happen is that um so it's gonna fill up. Um so obviously this piping is like I said it's not bulletproof and it's gonna tip over into that. Um and it's gonna start flowing as you can see. So I'm happy that the water is actually draining. Like I can see it draining towards where I, um, you know, obviously it's seeping out, but I can see it draining. That means the gradient is not completely backwards or flat. Um, it's just leaking out. And I'm hoping that um, once I uh, give these things a little bit more tug, um, they'll actually um, fill in, um, you know, tighten up. And then once I've backfilled this, these holes and stuff, it would like tighten up, uh, especially because it's clay. So it would like form like a more water seal barrier. Let's go see on the backside. So yep, water is flowing. You can see it is flowing in that channel. And yeah, I mean, there it is. Yep, you can see it, it's just filling up. You can see it flowing out. So, yep, I think I'm satisfied with the pitch on this thing. I just don't want it to backfill with dirt. So, I think I'm, back, I'm, I'm happy with, I mean, like I said, the fact that that is flowing, um, that simple means, the gradient is somewhat correct. Um, and like I said, if this is this is a rainfall, it's certainly gonna fill up. So again, I'm not sure. I'm gonna watch a couple of videos and see if this thing is supposed to like leak water um, at the fittings, because like I said, it's not bulletproof, but yeah. All right, so we're gonna turn that water off. Um, because I have already demonstrated that I don't need to dig any further in that channel. Um, kind of wish for all the work I did, I wish there was a, a easy way to connect this downspout, like these two downspouts to that, because then um, that would be great. I don't want to mess with this turf. I don't want to pull it up at all. I don't want to move any part of it. What I'm thinking about is like cutting the concrete and connecting it into the original um, fit-in, which, I mean, it's not ideal to cut the concrete because then you're gonna have a mismatch of concrete on either side, but um, I think that's the best I can do to figure this out. 
If not, I would have to freaking tunnel all the way around here and back and connect it, which is not going to be. I'm definitely not doing that. I'd rather cut the concrete. I have a concrete saw. So, yeah. It, uh, it flows. It also leaks. It's going to obviously trap some water. Because if I look in the... In all the rest of the ones that are around the house, if you look inside of them, you see water that's settled. So it's not, it's just part of the design of the system. It's gonna trap some water. Um, in fact, I'm gonna, for tonight, I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna pick it up from that end. I'm gonna just make sure the water dumps all the way out. So when I am when I come back tomorrow, it's just not a mess on my hand. And then the last little update I'll, I'll do, before I end this video and start cleaning up for today, is this pipe you probably saw it and you saw it over here and there it is um, it didn't go very far so it was like that I cut it um, and then I cut this side trying to pull figuring that you know it was it went under all the way and that's as far as it went under the dirt so um, I tried to buy um, some pipe and that end is different than this end. And here's the reason why. I have a electrical connection right there. Granted, it doesn't work. Um, there you go, a plug. So I gotta figure out that. But what I figure out I can do, since this is already neatly, has a PVC in there, I'm just gonna clean it out is I'm gonna um, get a, a 90 degree and get a piece of pipe and I'm gonna run it through the floor of the shed and I'm gonna have power in the shed if I need it um, or a way to put power inside the shed if I need it. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. It was obviously not serving a purpose um, because it terminated like right there in the dirt. In fact, as you can see, I didn't even cut, finish cutting before it and I pulled up on it thinking I was going to break the PVC or bend it and it just pulled right out. So I'm glad that happened. So yeah, um, tomorrow I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to excavate right there and figure out a way to tie into that. Um, see what the best course of action is for that. Um, and then yeah, the rest is just you know, backfill in. Once I once I backfill, it's gonna be game on. Um, the water, the irrigation system should be um, not irrigation, but the I, don't know, I guess um, water situation should be rectified. But I'm gonna do a little research on these joints and see how much they're supposed to leak. Um, I didn't really have too many connection parts, but I did have connectors to make it work. Um, uh, and like I said, with rainwater flooding the system, because this is below grade slightly, but rainwater flooding these systems, it should flow um, plentiful all the way through. So that's a little update on the, the shed bill. Like this shed bill has definitely taken on way more um, challenges. Um, I feel like this is something I should have done before, even like breaking ground like but i didn't notice that it actually pulled the water right here because it wasn't raining and well yeah didn't really notice so working backwards here but nonetheless i'm glad i you know glad i went back and decided to um remove the the base foundation there and um the beautiful, the beautiful thing about this, I didn't really disturb the level of it. All these blocks are still in place, and once I get done, I should be able to set this thing back down, and it should fit in all the, all the grooves, and it should be level. And I'll, I basically put the screws back in the same nail in the same hole um, when I put on the, the floor. And yeah, so, all in all, that's a lot of work, but it's coming along well. Um, Sometimes it's best to just, you want to see the project through like immediately, but it's best to just like, you know, dial it back, um, step back, 
take a break, um, think through it, think logically, think, think about what's going to make sense in the long run. And for me, in the long run, the confidence, even if this thing leaks on the ground, which it's not going to leak because it's going to be surrounded by clay soil, so it might, it's going to seep, but as far as like being able to contain any type of like um, build up of water, it's just going to flow down there. And once I, be, once I tie it into that little thing, it's going to be game on for that. Um, should solve any type of water situation right here. Um, but yeah, and then yeah, I'm just going to get a, like I said, a 90 degree, get a piece of pipe and um, find where it comes up through the, um, the, the floor. And that's going to be potentially where I can get power from that receptacle if I need to in the shed, especially just for a light since it's going to be dark in there. Um, but anyway, it's getting cold out here. It's getting dark. Um, and I'm going to pack up, clean up, and uh, get out of here. Anyway, let me always say, like on anything.